Hello guys, welcome back to the School of Dragons. So, today we are back with another one of our adventure things that we're doing. The expansions, that's the word. Anyway, we, um, in the last part we met this random stranger over here and he asked us to help melt the snow. So that is what we're going to do. Wonderful, thank you so much. Archaeologist work will go much faster with you and Ember King's help. I would be honoured to work alongside you. Thanks. I know. I'm just the best. Well, who do I talk to? <laughs> also, if you haven't seen the other parts, you really should, because I've been loving this. Also, this thing down here has to stay, sadly. Do we talk to you? Yes. Um, We have to tell the others about our discovery. Go back to the school and speak with the headmaster. He'll be so excited to spread the news. Okay. Where are we? Oh, we're only there. Okay, that's fine. That's, <laughs> we can get back there easy. Okay, let's go talk to him. Hey, headmaster. You ran into the archaeologist on the Arctic island? Yes, I remember when he used to live on Burke. He left a few... He left years ago to explore distant lands. I'm glad to hear he's doing well and helping you explore this exciting new land. We should build a small expansion of the school there to study the Arctic environment. Knowledge is gained by exploring the unknown. Please tell Valka the good news and ask her if she thinks we should devote some of the clan's resources to building a new expansion of the school. Okay. I can do that. Don't know why I'm whispering. Um, is Valka over this way? Rough nut and tough nut. Social tips. I want to go back to the ice place. I like it more there. Do, 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 do. Oh, Hiccup, you came back too? Ugh. Hey, Valka. Hi. Hello. A new island sounds am and like an amazing opportunity to find new dragons. Of course we should expand the school. Building stones. Take these building supplies and deliver them to Gobba. He should be in charge of constructing the building. Okay. Gobba. Oh, I flew. I didn't mean to fly. Hi. We're expanding the school? This is right up my alley. I've always got so many great ideas. I hardly know where to start. We are going to need more build. Bu 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 we are going to need more building supplies than that. Tell you what, lad. Take those building supplies and fly to the Arctic Island. I'll load up Stockhead with more supplies. Then we will meet you there. Once we land, we can get you there. Once we land, you can give me the building supplies. Let's get going. I can hardly wait. I know, it's really exciting. Whee! Okay, <laughs> let's fly back. Well, I mean, we're not really flying back. Can you fly from island to island? Or is there like a certain point where you... I don't know. Oh, hi, you're here. Hello. Thanks, lad. Don't worry. The dorms will be built faster than you can say milk, yak milk stew. Well, maybe not that fast, but close. Okay. Do I talk to you now? No. Do I talk to you now? Hold on. Yes, the lay of the land. Hey, Collectible Alexander, would you like to help me map out the island? Our map might help further future explorers, and it's a perfect opportunity to get familiar with our surroundings. Oh, I didn't read the second part. Whoops. Oh, well. Um, fly above the camp. Oh, I can't do this. You're so close to being able to fly, though. <gasps> Where are we supposed to fly? Okay, well, I'm sorry, Ember King. We're gonna just send you back. Um, <clears throat> let's get st uh, Stinger out, because we got, um, are you out of energy? Do you need a fish? I think you need a fish. Up we go. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay, where are we going? Doo -doo -doo. Fly above the camp. Um. 
Here. Isn't the view great up there? Maps are drawn with aerial view. Being up in the air on a dragon is the best way to determine the shape of the island and the relative locations of landmarks. Yay. Great work. Now open up your inventory and view the map. Okay. Where is it? Here. School. Okay. Cool. We only have one piece right now, but we'll keep exploring and glue more pieces together until the map is complete. Let's keep following the shore to the other island. To the other side of the island. That huge Viking statue over there is per a perfect landmark. Fly over to the statue so we can survey the area around it. This way. Doo -doo -doo. I'm still like a little bit confused on keys with flying, so please bear with me here. Oh. There. Well, there's a chest. Landmarks are recognisable nature or man-made features using use of navigation. They stand out from the environment and are usually visible from long distances. For example, this Viking statue and the glacier near camp are both very large, unique objects that are easily easy to spot from a distance. We should definitely include them on the map. Wonderful. Huh. Is that a Viking hunt hut off that cliff? It looks like there's a cabbage patch too. It doesn't look like anyone's home right now. Well, we can check that out after, after we are done mapping the island. The second part of the map turned out great. Take a glance at your inventory. Like, do I need to? <laughs> yep, second part of the map. Mm -hmm. It's great. Giant Viking house. It's wonderful. Um, There are many types of maps, but the map we are making is called a physical map. Instead of marking roads or villages, we are drawing out the physical features of the island, like bodies of water, land masses, and landmarks. There must be a quick way to map out the other side of the island. I know, we can probably map out the rest of the island by flying up higher. Are you feeling brave, Collector Alex Hunter? Let's fly high above the centre of the island and look down. Okay, well... Because... Ooh! No, 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 no. I don't really understand how to st stop on the dragons. So... I'm in the stat. Okay, can we land, please? Land. I don't understand how I land. How do I stop again? Okay. And down. Oh, yeah, we landed. Okay. 130. Sure, let's do it. I got a deadly nada what? Tome? Ooh. Don't know what that is, but that sounds exciting. Wonderful. Okay, let's fly up. Uh, yeah, I haven't really spent much time flying, so I really don't understand. Do do do. Up we go. Ooh, this little like lake thing. Was this like a volcano once? No, that's a volcano. Isn't the view spectacular? Only the most skilled dragonflies can enjoy these sights. Obviously, not me. So yeah. Come back to me and give me the pieces of the map. I'll glue them together for you. Okay. Oh, wait. I saw something sparkly. <clears throat> ah! I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I just... And... Down we go. See, it won't... Oh, this is water. Oh. Like, I don't really understand how to land. There we go. What is that? There's footprints up here. Okay, I just really wanted to change dragons. Thank you, Stinger, for coming with us. You're level 13. Wow. Um, because I really want this XP for the dragon. Our baby dragons. Oh my goodness, there's footprints. This is probably a mystery that we're going to have to figure out on another time. Okay. Ember um, King... 
glide down. We. <laughs> I don't know why I like them gliding so much. Are you okay, baby? The baby's fine. Okay, let's return to Hiccup. And we'll light the fire, because why not? Hello. Hello. Oh, Astrid's here. You're not the person I want to talk to. <laughs> I didn't even see Astrid. Oh, yeah, you can have them. You know what? You can take them. Okay, let's skip this because copyright. <laughs> <clears throat> All done. Take a look at the complete map in your backpack. Do I have to? Can I not just believe that you have it, that you've, that you've figured it out, that you've got it? Like, yay, dragon. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. Looks good. Now we've mapped out the entire island. We should give it a name. How about Ice Storm Island? Welcome to Ice Storm Island, the iciest rock in the Arctic Sea. Did you notice something odd on your way back to camp? I thought I spotted something interesting. Will you fly back up towards the hill above the camp and look for anything out of the ordinary? We won't fly, but we'll run. Because Ember King is joining us, so we have to bring him, obviously. Um, what can I shoot? What is down there? F. Whatever it is, we shot it. <gasps> Maybe it was a sheep. Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> Look for footprints on the hill. We already found them. See, we're just we're just that good, Ember King. We're just that good. Okay. Do do do. No, I'm here. Look, the footprints are right here. Where does this want me to go? I think it wants me to go up. I'm really confused by these exclamation points. Okay, you want me to go down? Here we go. Those are some large footprints. I wonder what sort of dragon could have made this imprint. There are more footprints on the other side of the hill. You should investigate. What? <laughs> Here we go. What could have caused these footprints? I have no... Goodness, game. Oh, the exclamation point's here. Here we go. Um, you notice mysterious footprints in the snow. Where do they go? No idea. Investigate the mysterious footprints. We already did this. See, we are like five steps ahead for once. Normally I'm like 12 steps behind, but we are five steps ahead. Okay. Emberkin sniffs the air uneasily. The footprints lead further into the woods. Can this really be classed as wood? Oh, look at Kay! Hi! A pack of speed stingers. They don't look happy with you and Emberkin. The speed stingers aren't backing down. Escape them by not letting them get too close to you as you run away. <gasps> I was... No! No. <laughs> I don't think you're fast enough. Are you, am I faster without you? Go, 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 go. No, they are really fast. They are really, really fast. Do I need a flying dragon for this? Are you kidding me? Um, can I look at their speed? That's That looks like flying, though. Who's our fastest dragon? Pitch rate, turn rate, acceleration. Do I need a flying dragon for this? I'm going to say yes. So, sonic boom. Am I doing it? I did it. That was a close call. 
Hiccup needs to know about the dangerous speed stinger pack. Okay. No, no, no. Down. Down we go. Whee! Land. I'm still confused on how I land. Do I actually need to, like, properly slow down? No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. I have no idea how I did that, but that's fine. Thank you, Sonic Boom. Thank you. Okay. Ember King is almost level 10. I can't believe that. This has been crazy. These expansions are really good for leveling up dragons. Bye. Haha. -ha. Gotta keep ourselves warm. <laughs> okay. Um. Hello, Hiccup. Speed Stingers here in the Arctic? That's amazing. I've encountered speed stingers before. They're stings that can cause temporary par 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 paralysis and can take hours to wear off. We have to be more careful when we go back to study the pack. Now that you are experienced with speed stingers, you can get up real close to observe them. This is the perfect opportunity to expand our knowledge on these dragons. Um, did you guys see that thing on the screen? I was 100% sure that was an egg. We had all these. What was that? Did you see that? I'm going to like zoom in on it. Okay. Oh, Ember King, you're all grown up. Okay, we're not going to level them up right now to an adult. We are just going to change them to... Well, we at the moment, we just have Neon Beauty. So, Neon Beauty, come on out. Yay! I really like this dragon. Okay. Um, I am so excited about the nest of speed stingers you found, Collectible Alexander. We should use this opportunity to learn more about them. Let's head back to the nest. If we tread lightly, we can get close and observe them. Okay. Oh, you're speedy, actually. Do 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 do. Okay. And yes, we are running everywhere because XP. <laughs> that is why. I really, really like Neon Beauty's colours. I think she is one of the brightest ones that we have. She's so adorable. <gasps> Aren't you Neon Beauty? Look at you. Yes, you. So cute. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This means that we can ride on our razor whip now. Also, I was thinking, do you, would you guys like to see them as titans? Like, I'm unsure. <laughs> These flightless dragons like to build their nests in caves. They can't, produce, they can't produce fire to protect themselves from the cold, so they huddle together in the shelter of the cave to keep warm. Speed stingers are incredibly protective of their territory. They definitely aren't a, the friendliest dragon in the world. Don't make any sudden movements, Collector Wildlife Hunter. They'll think you're a threat. Maybe we should back away a bit and study their diet. I wonder if they eat fish like the other dragons. See if you can find a fishing hole nearby. Speed stingers need a lot of food to provide energy for their powerful leg muscles. Hmm. The speed stingers probably hunt other type of uh, other types of Arctic wildlife for food. There are so men in there. There are many different species living here that contribute to the ecosystem's level of biodiversity. Biodiversity is the measurement of the variable. Var <clears throat> of the variety of organisms presented in different ecosystems. There are a lot of other organisms that share this habitat with the speed stingers. Let's see if we can spot signs of any other wildlife here. Those footprints in the snow over there don't look like they belong to a dragon. Could you take a closer look? How can you see them? You're not even close to us. Oh, here. They look like rabbit footprints. Arctic hares must live here among the trees. That's a good sign. An ecosystem's level of biodiversity is a good indicator of its health. For example, imagine if all the trees were cut down. We'd see biodiversity go down because of the destruction of these, these species' habitats. 
We need to protect all wildlife living on this island, including the speed, speed stingers. The best way to do that <clears throat> is to learn as much as we can about them. Let's go back to the speed stingers nest and see if we can learn more. That's really true. Like, I love... This is, this is why I love this game. Because I love things about nature and animals and all that stuff. Speed stingers always live in packs. Their leader is called the lead speed stinger. Without a pack leader, they will struggle to work as a team. A social structure is very important to the survival of their species. Uh-oh. We might have overstayed our welcome. Forget what I said about making some movements. Run away. Get out of there. Again? Really? And run and run and run and run. Run and run and run. <laughs> we have two seconds left. I think, I think we're okay. There we go. That was some impressive field work, Collectible Alexander. I knew you could handle it. Thanks. Whee! Do I talk to you? Yes. The helpless predator. <clears throat> Toothless and I were flying over the island when I witnessed an amazing thing. While we were flying overhead, an avalanche cas cas cascaded down the mountains. It was amazing, but looked very dangerous. An avalanche is a natural hazard and results from natural processes. It occurs when a giant chunk of ice or snow breaks away from the side of a mountain and moves down the mountain with great speed and force. Most avalanches occur within 24 hours Within twenty-four hours after 12 or more inches of fresh snow has fallen. An avalanche can reach speeds of 80 miles per hour when falling down the mountain. Would you mind going back to the avalanche site and checking it out? Sure. That's really interesting. I didn't know that about avalanches. See, even I'm learning something. Where was this avalanche? Because, <laughs> like, I didn't hear anything. Do 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 do. Okay. Oh, this way? Wait, where are we going? Neon Beauty, where are we going? Oh, Avalanche site. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe we didn't hear it because we were running away, you know. From the Speed Singers. <gasps> There's a Speed Singer in it! That's a baby Speed Singer! It looks like it's stuck under the mountain of snow and can't get out itself. Most avalanches occur within 24 hours after 12 or more inches of fresh snow has fallen. It can reach speeds of up to 80 miles per hour while falling down the mountain. This dragon is is this dragon is lucky to even be alive i think dragonfly could get this baby speed singer out of this mouse a well-placed fireball would destroy the remnants of the avalanche and set the baby dragon free <gasps> i'm so sorry you look really <laughs> you look kind of goofy in that okay ready there we go the speed singer is now safe but it won't survive long without support of its pack. It needs to be back in the cave. Click on the dragon and lead it back to the cave, Collector Wilex Hunter. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Come on, baby, let's go. Wow, we've led a lot of babies in this episode. Do, do, do. Are you coming, little guy? You're so a Wait, where did, where did you go? I wanna, I wanna see. No, 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 no. I want, I want to see you. He's such a little cutie pie. Look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my goodness. He is super adorable. Okay, well, let's. They're called speed stingers. They should be able to walk faster. I'm sorry. Just, just saying. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay, let's get this baby back to the cave. So he can survive. He's, he's so cute. I really want a speed singer now. It's okay, look. We, we, we brought back your baby. The speed stingers aren't chasing you out of the cave. They must know you're helping out one of their own. They seem pleased. Hiccup should know what happened with the baby speed stinger. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Let's run back and 
see what Hiccup has to say. Do, 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 do. Are you ready to jump off a cliff? Whee! No, no, go down, go down, go down. Yay! Good neon beauty. <clears throat> okay. Um, that's amazing news. We've never been able to get close to speed singers before. Since they are so aggressive and territorial, your kind act must have changed the speed stinger's mind about you. I wonder if we can use your connection to even train the speed stinger in the future. Great job, Collectible Alex Hunter. Thank you. Okay. Loud noises again. Um, I don't know which one we're doing. We'll do this one. Collective Alex Hunter, are you feeling okay? You looked a little flush. You need to be mindful of your own health. The harsh elements and temperatures on Ice Storm Island can really be nah, can be really dangerous if you don't take the right precautions. Luckily, Gobba came by on the island. He's no gothic, gothica, gothic, gothic, goth. I don't know how to say that, but he'll be able to fix you up if you're feeling sick. He went up to near the Speed Stingers territory. Please do me a favor and talk to him about your health. I'm fine, look. See? My bar my health bar's full. <laughs> okay. Um yeah. These expansions are really quite good, especially for XP and stuff. Uh, I probably know that if I do other quests and stuff, it'll be the same. But yeah, I really, really like it. But that speed stinger thing was really adorable. I it, it kinda reminds me of wolf packs. Um, how they live in caves and burrows and stuff like that. Do, 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 do. Hi, Gobba. How are you doing? Hello, lad. Beard of Thor. You look terrible. You're shivering like a wet yak in winter. Well, it's no wonder. You're in the middle of this freezing blizzard in those flimsy clothes. You need to head back to Burke right away and get out of this harsh climate while you're there. I'll help you while you're there. Excuse me? I am fine, thank you very much. Do I actually need to fly? Okay. We'll just... We'll just fly like this then. Whee! This is so cool. Okay, do I actually need to physically fly back? No, okay. Um... Well, I actually think while we're here, we will quickly go and... You can always hug Neon Beauty if you really need the heat, but you need something a bit more permanent if you want to go back to Ice Storm Island. If you aren't careful, you can easily get frostbite and hypothermia. Frostbite is a skin injury from prolonged exposure to cold temperatures. It usually occurs on the nose, fingers and toes. You can also get hypothermia, which is the condition of having low body temperature caused by prolonged exposure to cold temperatures. What you need is thick thermal clothing to keep yourself protected. Go talk to Dr Trader Johan, Johan and see if he has any Arctic appropriate clothing for you to wear. Okay, I will. But, oh, are you okay? Are you fine? Are you cool? Uh, I actually wanted, as we're back here at Burke, I wasn't going to do this, but I mean, as we're here, we're going to take, um, bef while, while we're like, you know, we're here. We're going to take him over to the stables uh, quickly. Uh, not the stables, the hatchery area and level him up. Because, I mean, he's level 10 and we're kind of at the end of this episode. So, okay, we need to go, obviously, talk to Johan. Johan, Johan, Johan. Jo Johan? Johan, isn't it? I think. Could be wrong. I really, really want to do this. I really want to see the Grim Nashes and the Sentinels. They're so adorable. I think they're my favourite. One of my favourites, anyway. Okay, Ember King. This is a big moment for you. Congratulations. What did I do? Did I do it? Do I not get, like, a pop-up thing anymore? I mean, I would be happy if I didn't. But that's a little bit weird, because I've gotten pop-ups every single other time. <gasps> oh, no, wait. You still can't fly. Wait, can you fly? No, I don't understand. 
<laughs> I really don't understand. I got what did I get XP for then? Nothing? Did I get XP for nothing? Hello? Game? Are you okay? Are you having issues? Come on. Also, yeah, I believe with this quest we get to go to Valhalla. And uh, I want to go there. I want to go there so bad. Oh, there we go. You just got 50 random XP. Do I want to change any of your colours? I do actually want to... I want to keep it, but like, I don't like that brown look. I want it to be like, black. Perfect. Wait, can I put this? Oh, okay. Okay. <gasps> Yay! You grew up! Did you grow up? You did grow up. I, I think you grew up anyway. Okay, now I'm stuck flying. This is ridiculous. Land. Land. I'm I'm so confused how to land. Yeah, out we go. There we go. I need to get better at flying. I just I don't understand the whole landing thing. Like I thought we just had to like go into the ground. <gasps> Pluck. We're finally flying on Ember King. Ember King. I have been waiting. So long for this moment. Oh my goodness, look. Oh, Ember King. You've all grown up right now. This is... Oh my goodness. I ran into a wall. Great. Professional. How do I get out? There we go. Yeah. Oh. Professional, like I said. This is so cool. Like, I'm really sad that he's not a baby anymore, but I'm so happy he's an adult. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, I ran you into a pole. That's, that's going to happen a lot, I'm presuming. <gasps> Yay! Look at you. You're so adorable. I'm so happy. You're all grown up. Oh, that's going to make me dizzy. Or some people dizzy. Okay, well, let's stop. <laughs> Next question. How do I land? See, look, I'm, like, on the ground, but I can't land. So I'm really, really confused. Do I just nosedive? Do I... I'm really confused about... There we go, we landed. Okay, anyway. We're gonna end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I'm really bittersweet that Ember King has grown up. Look at him. He's such a majestic, majestic man now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. In the next episode, we'll be back to the expansion when we talk to Johan. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our adventures here on the channel. And me and Ember King will just see you guys in the next video. So we'll see you guys then.